of being abused by them. Um, Penny's dad had, and Penny's mom, um, after the incident, whatever, at, at the school, chased Jonathan and tried to shoot him with a gun and threatened to kill him and Penny. And so they both ran away. Um, anyway, I'm calling on behalf of Penny because they did run away. And Penny's desperate to not have to go back to that house because her dad and mom have both abused her and her siblings and have beaten them all and told them they're worthless and have threatened to kill them. Penny has tried to get help, and her, along with her siblings, have tried to get help, like in Missouri and before, to report the abuse, but nobody has helped them yet. Um, anyway, when they had ran away, um, they were found in Nevada, and Penny ran away again because there was just no way she wanted to go back home. She, they did turn themselves into New York, you know, um, and Penny is supposed to be extradited back here to Oregon, and Penny is just desperate, and I am afraid for this poor girl. She's the same age as my son. In fact, they went to the same Head Start preschool together. Of course, that was years and years ago and everything, but I, she's a good girl. She doesn't do drugs. She doesn't do alcohol. She's not having sex with Jonathan or anything bad like that. This is a really good girl. And Jonathan, actually, he's still in high school. He should be in school right now. But he, he's in high school. But he, his, Penny's parents had him move, you know, with the permission of Jonathan's parents, had him move from Missouri, you know, his senior year, to come live with Penny and their family here in Oregon and go to Napa High School. And, you know, he, and Penny's dad, like, trashed the car, um, slashed the car, his car tires, and ruined the ignition. And on that day they ran away, he was chasing, or what he thought was Jonathan, was chasing him through the woods, trying to kill him with a gun. And Penny, the, Penny's mom has all these guns in her name. And Ryan Wild is involved in the, has terrorized, like most of the people here in Clatsop County, he's terrorized me. He created a Facebook group with one of his friends threatening to harm me. And some other lady and he's threatened to harm so many people and kill so many other people in this county he's scammed people he's stolen from people he's been best friends with known actual child pedophiles real pedophiles and he you know they, and i'm just like worried sick sick over this because poor penny she you know is so brave you know she has gone through abuse, her and her siblings. And some of the abuse that she has endured is appalling. You know, her dad had, had her set on his lap and, you know, was talking about the price of virgins and saying how the, you know, how, you know, much she could get for virgins and, you know, and he's beaten her and threatened to kill her and pulled her hair. And it's just, I mean, I'm just terrified for the poor girl. The fact that she's even still alive, or her siblings, is, you know, and if I know if she has to go back to that house, which she is adamant she does not want to do, I'm afraid that her dad's going to do way worse than just beat her. And that just terrifies me for this poor little girl. And... And I'm also, you know, worried about Jonathan, and I know he's not worried too, but, and, you know, because he is legally, yes, he just turned 18, but this kid, he should still, he's still a kid. He hasn't even graduated high school. And Penny's parents were supposed to, you know, take care of him, you know, be, or be his guardian, you know, even though he turned 18, he's still in high school. He hasn't graduated high school yet. He's still a kid, you know, and, you know, Jonathan's parents had trusted obviously trusted that Jonathan, uh, for Penny's parents, Ryan Lyles and Jessica, to take care of him and treat him like one of their own, although Penny's parents did not say that um, treating Jonathan as one of their own also meant abusing him as well and trying to threaten to kill him, you know. And I just, you know, I'm just begging people, please, please listen to Penny. Please do not make her go back to that home. In fact, if anything, you know, she should be put, like, in a foster home or a group home or, a care, or you know, any kind of home where she will be safe. And, I mean, it preferably, I think, would be even outside of the county would be better. So um, just please, because I, if her dad gets his hands on her, it's going to probably be way worse than just a beating. And her dad is talking about already moving 
word on the street is that he's already talking about moving once he gets Penny back. And he's just going to continue to abuse, probably move her to another state and abuse her, and this time maybe kill her and or her siblings. Because she has tried to re report the abuse in the past, and nothing's been done about it, and nothing, and no help was given, and such. Thank you.